Hi there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's card features the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set and the Rainbow Dies. That is the stamp set right there. And the die set features these fabulous rainbow images and a really awesome border die with the little rainbow as well, just there. And we're going to use that one and this one today. Um, I have put a link to the products that I've used in the description bar below and I'll talk about them as I go through the video too. But let's get ahead and make this card. So I'm using a piece of pool party cardstock and it's just half a sheet of A4, scored in half. And then for the matte piece, the top piece, I've just cut a little a sort of half a centimetre off just to get a nice narrow border. So let's start with a little bit of background stamping first. So all I've done is I've cut out one of the dies and the border piece and then done a little bit of background stamping using um, this cute little um, uh, image right here. So let's start with that one first and then I'll come back and show you how I did that rainbow. It's very cute. So this is just random stamping pool party ink on pool party cardstock so tone on tone which I love tone on tone stamping probably one more maybe one more there yeah that should be fine um, we're also going to stamp this um, sending you a rainbow of happiness we're going to do that right now um, because I've already gone ahead and cut out the actual die. So I love the shape of this. Isn't it great? Because it's photopolymer, you can stretch it a little bit to make sure that, um, you know, it's, it's wide enough or, or narrow enough how to fit as you're going to need it. So I'm using um, Misty Moonlight ink. Classic stamping pad for this one. And we'll just go straight down. Coming around about there. Make sure that's straight. Sending you a rainbow of happiness. Really like that misty moonlight against the pool party colour. That's actually all the stamping done. Now we are going to, I'm going to show you how I did this die cutting. So let me get all my little pieces right here. So when you cut these out, um, that's the, the negative image and that's actually the image that we're going to use for the white. So I cut these all out using um, various scraps I had on my desk, which is a great way to use up here, the various scraps. So I've used um, some of the Misty Moonlight, some of the, uh, that's Coastal Cabana and So Saffron. So when you cut out your, um, your rainbow, obviously you have all your little insert pieces there. All I've done is I've just cut away um, cut away that one so I'm only left with the one 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 two three of those rainbows like that so that's all I did to get that little border as well so that's as simple as it is so just die cut and then cut away those little extra bits just to get that smaller piece now what I'm going to do is bring in my silicone mat. The easiest way I found to do this is you can just go straight in with some, um, pop that on there and then go straight in with some Tombow. But I'm going to, um, I want it popped up slightly from the card. So I'm going to actually put my piece of my die cut down back to front. So I've got the back side facing me. Then lay these down. This is the back of the card. Oops, that one. I'm using different colours. Because obviously when you cut these out, you get all the different colours. And then you can keep all your little die cut pieces. And it's great. So I'm actually going to put um, my dimensionals right here. 
and that's going to keep all of those pieces in in position for me and then the other one there like I said you could just go straight in with your Tombow I just found this way works for me Oops. and then straight in there because it's popped up so it's sitting up higher when I bring in my this piece here the border piece I love this it's just going to pop in just like that. And I've done. I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on that one. Yep. Right. Slide that up there. And then I'm just folding it around the back. Oops, I put a little bit too much Tombow on there, didn't I? That's why me and Tombow are not always friends. <laughs> yeah, I think I fixed it. All right. Okay, so... Straighten that up a little bit. Oops, that is crooked. <laughs> That's better. Okay. Now this uh, set also comes with the cute little cloud dies, and I've just realised I haven't gone and cut them out. So we've got four little ones in here, a larger one, a smaller one, and then these two here to cut out the same. So I'm just going to pop over to my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine and cut those out using a piece of basic white cardstock. Let's go and do that. Right, let's put a couple of mini dimensionals on the back of those. you can use whatever colors you like that's the beauty of this this set nothing's wrong <laughs> nothing could possibly be wrong um, I've also got some of the little jewels on there now I'm using the iridescent iridescent rhinestone basic jewels they are also in the new mini catalog from stamping up and they are truly they are if you haven't already secured some of these in an order I highly recommend you do it because they are just so good so so good I just love them it's a little bit close there one down there can't have too many right there you have it that's the basis of the card that's the card made let's put some dimensionals on the back And it's a pretty easy card some nice pretty simple stamping and I think a great way to use that um, the stamp they're sending you the rainbow of happiness stamp there you have it there you go simple easy card to make I hope you enjoyed the video as I said I have put a link to the products I've used in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, stampingmary at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.